I always love when you come on. Thank you so much for coming back to the show, bud. They just told me I've been here nine times. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy right I want there. you to be here a hundred times. Uh, I, I can't get enough of you, but I, I have something here that I don't think I've ever thought I'd see in my lifetime, and I'm a fan of yours for, for a long time. You are on uh, a Cheerios box. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I, I made it. What? Honey Nut Cheerios. If you ever told me as a kid, like, iced tea's gonna be on a the cereal box. Impossible. You could put a gun to my head and say, I was a no, no way it's gonna ever happen. Ever. And I'd be shot because it happened. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I love that. They, are you a fan or did they reach out or how'd it happen? They reached out, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little older now and they wanted somebody to represent heart health. And, you know, it's been a change in the guards, Jimmy. Like, you know, the people that were scared of us in hip hop are gone now. So you go to the CEOs of these big companies, they're like 45-year-old guys, you know, or women, and they're just like, I love you. I mean, that's how we made it into the Super Bowl. You know, everybody that was at the Super Bowl were the bad guys, you know, 50 and M and all of Snoop and everybody. Yeah. So the guards have changed, and now the people in power love hip-hop, and I'm on a Cheerios box. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> Matt Wild, that's so good. I think it's an honor. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually also inspired uh, something called the Ice Tea Challenge. Now, this is a thing that you did not start, your fans started this. They started it, what they would do is they go in the stores and they flip the box around to where they said, Ice, you should have been on the front of the box. And all over the country, people are flipping these boxes around. <laughs> it's this. real crazy. Yeah, this is actually happening in grocery stores. <laughs> people just going in, they go, no. <laughs> <laughs> I like that challenge. It's cool. It's cool. You know, a, it's fun. Nobody gets hurt. I'm going to do it this weekend. I think it's yeah. fun. Uh, <laughs> I think it's good. Uh, I, I'll get the kids to do it, too. Uh, we went... I, I, you know, I follow you on the socials. You're a great follow. I've said this before. I do love following you. Uh, but this thing caught my eye the other day, and I was concerned. I go, oh, my gosh. And it got national attention. And this is from you. Uh, at final level, it says, uh, I was robbed at a gas station in New Jersey last night. Uh, after my hands stopped trembling, I managed to call the cops. They were quick to respond and calm me down. My money is gone. The police asked me if I knew who did it, and I said yes. It was pump number nine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good joke. <laughs> that's a that, that joke got a million likes. Wow. I never got a million likes on Twitter before. Um, I got to tell the truth. My buddy Kaz uh, from uh, Rolling Sixties yeah. hit me with that joke, and I kind of rewrote it, and I put it was in New Jersey and all that kind of stuff, so I kind of plagiarized his joke. He yeah. gets some credit, too. Yeah, yeah Kaz, yeah, you get yeah, a little Kaz joke. Yeah, Kaz hooked it up. Yeah, you hooked up. That was... But it was on the news. I'm, I'm watching, you know, channel... CNN, I see gets robbed. People like negative stuff. I think what caught... What caught everyone's attention was the fact, ooh, something bad happened. You know, people like stuff that happens bad to people. Yeah. If it said Ice-T won something, that something great happened, they'd scroll right by. He got robbed. What happened? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I got him in the end with, with Pump 9. You know what I'm saying? So... You get with the joke. Pump 9, yeah, I love it. Uh... Uh, you also do a thing, uh, a recurring thing on your on, on Twitter, where it's a thing called Ice Cold Facts. Yeah. And these are inspirational sometimes, motivational uh, tweets from you, piece of advice from you. Things I've heard or things I made up, just things that people need to know that are actually facts. Uh, I thought that we can go through a few of your tweets and you could tell us a little more about your thoughts behind them. Uh, Let's go. Uh, okay. I like that. That's pretty good, too. Let's go is even good. That, that's a fact. That's we're a about fact. To, we're about to go. Let's go. <laughs> we're, about, we're about to go. That's right. All right, ice cold fact. At some point, you're going to realize that if you don't go get it, it's not going to get got. <laughs> that is... That's it. That's, that's, that's good. I mean, you, you just can't sit on the couch. You can't say, I'm going to go to the gym and just sit on the couch. It's not like you just automatically going to get in shape. Yeah. You got to go. Yeah. And anything you want, no one's... I, I, I'll back that up. With No one wakes up in the morning with your dream. Whatever your dream is, it's yours. So if you want it to happen, you have to make it happen personally. Don't expect it to happen because someone else is going to care about what you want. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Ice cold fact. Uh -oh. A lie will get around the world twice before the truth can get its pants on. 
kind of going back to what I'm saying. People love the lies. They love the drama. So drama spreads really, really fast. You know, uh, uh, something that's true and positive. Unfortunately, humans don't connect to that. I mean, that's just a, a case study in our human nature. Yeah. And then, yeah, but I'd like to go around the world before the truth can get his pants yeah, up. Yeah, before you can even get up. What are they lying about? What's happening? Like, oh what are they God. lying about? Let me tell them. It's too late. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do this last <laughs> one here. <laughs> I want to do this last one here. It's the ice cold fact. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, your life will improve. I just... <laughs> <laughs> That's the... I, I agree. I totally agree as a follower. I love seeing your stuff. It always makes me laugh. And it always makes me think. I mean, there's nothing to be said about that. That's just an ice cold fact. <laughs> yeah. I want to. Uh, I want to talk about Law and Order SVU. Let's go. Uh, you're about to wrap up season 23. Is that possible? Right now, we are filming the final episode of season 23. We got the record at 21, and now I'm hoping we go to like t season 29 or something. With the, I mean, this year we had the, some of the best ratings ever. It's just. I'm lucky to be on board that ship. You Are you, can you tell us how, how, the, how the season ends? I don't die. <laughs> okay, all right, well, that's good. Do you worry about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when, you, when, when you're on a show this long, like, you know, I read the script and I get shot. I'm like, I'm shot. And I start, uh, oh, <laughs> right there. Whoo, I'm alive. <laughs> I got shot on page 20, 43, I'm breathing. <laughs> Yes! I love you, Dick Wolf. Uh, yeah. I'm like, yo, let me know something. Yeah. Uh, congrats on another great season. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Ice T in Law and Order SVU. Take a look at this. It'll be worth it. Juan Araminas is the soul of this neighborhood. If anything's going on, she'll know about it. Okay, I'm gonna wait out here. Nobody likes a bakery full of cops. Give me a coffee and some cheers, man. Come on, Ice T, everybody. <laughs> Come on, you know how to do it. Law and Order SVU. Returns with new episodes April 28th. We're playing Settles It after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.